It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this last day's church community here on this ministry channel of signs of the last days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this signs of the last days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that truly supports this ministry to be here and to continue as we are here watching together with you and praying with you as the signs of the last days prophecies reveal, we are nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church and it's time to prepare now. <clears throat> There's been news where as the White House parties with cocaine found in the West Wing and naked dancing is seen on the White House lawn in pride of the Sodom lifestyle. Also at the same time, it was reported how that our enemies are now gathering and they are planning against us as our enemies are coming ever nearer, even at our gates like the prophet of God forewarned. At first, the mainstream media reported that just a white powdery substance had been found in the west wing of the White House. And they kept on with that narrative for a little while until it was confirmed that the white powdery substance was a party drug called cocaine, which the U.S. Secret Service agents had found in a baggie in the west wing of the White House during a security sweep. Then there was supposed to have been an investigation by the Secret Service and the FBI as to how an illegal party drug like cocaine was found in a baggie in the White House, where according to reports, the investigation was said to have included a review and analysis of the video surveillance footage from inside the White House, which is famous for being one of the most secure buildings in all the world. Also, the investigation was reported to have included a review and analysis by the famed FBI crime lab, where the FBI lab did a sophisticated analysis of the illegal cocaine and its baggie. However, it was then reported after a supposedly thorough investigation by the Secret Service that their investigation was not able to identify a single person of interest from the review of the secure facilities, surveillance and entry exit logs. Additionally, the FBI said they were not able to turn up any fingerprints whatsoever or even a single iota of DNA in their sophisticated crime lab analysis of the baggy field with cocaine which seems surprising since the cocaine did not get in the baggie by itself and did not walk into the White House by itself either. But Secret Service and FBI officials announced that it would be impossible for them to find out how the baggie of illegal cocaine entered the White House, so they promptly closed the investigation. And the mainstream media hurriedly moved on. However, also near the same time that cocaine was found in the west wing of the White House, separately it was also reported how that there was a very big, big party held at the White House. Well, the report said that the White House hosted the largest pride party in history, where over the White House the pride flag flew right along with the stars and stripes of old glory. The reports went on to say that while the music was cranked up by the party DJ on the White House lawn, where the attendees had also been joined and photographed with Biden, that the attendees then began to dance and celebrate. And they were so filled with the exuberance of their pride that they began to take off their clothes as they danced to the music half naked on the White House lawn. 
The attendees had enjoyed the party with Biden at the White House so much that during the party, they posted their photos and their videos on their social media of the event for their fellow friends of pride. But during the same time frame that the cocaine was found in a baggie in the West Wing, and it was reported that the White House was partying hearty with people of pride openly exposing themselves on the White House lawn. During that same time frame, it was also reported that our enemies were also gathering together inside our security comfort ring and planning to place military bases to where the security of the country is exposed to our enemies who would even be at our gates. Where it was reported that China, the prophesied king of the east of Revelation, was meeting with Cuba, where China and Cuba were planning a new Chinese military base there just 90 miles from the coastlands of the United States of America where we think we live in security. The report said that China and Cuba were in active conversations on building a new military training facility on the island nation where Chinese troops and Navy ships could also port. As the White House administration admitted that China was trying to enhance the communist country's presence in Cuba near the border of the U.S. As there are already severe tensions between Washington and Beijing, as there is heightened anxiety over China's growing ambitions from the South China Sea all the way, it seems, to the Gulf of Mexico over a host of issues including war over Taiwan. The U.S. administration admitted that China and Cuba are already jointly running eavesdropping stations together on the island of Cuba. When its existence was first reported, the Pentagon denied it, where a spokesperson for the Pentagon said, we are not aware of China and Cuba developing any type of spy station bases. Then later, an administration official who at first also evaded then admitted the base already exists in Cuba, which recently underwent a significant upgrade when a single eavesdropping station was expanded to a network of four sites across Cuba that are operated jointly by Cuba and China, as the Chinese are deepening their involvement in Cuba, according to the reports. U.S. military officials have now said that a new military facility in Cuba could provide China with a platform to house military troops permanently on the island and to broaden their intelligence gathering against the U.S. They said that most worrisome was the planned facility. The new military base is part of China's military initiative by their army to expand its global military bases and logistical support networks worldwide. Cuba is facing its biggest economic and political crisis in decades. Cuba is short fuel. They're short medicine. They're short food, especially since COVID when the crisis deepened to unprecedented proportions for them. And China has thrown the Havana government a lifeline, giving it millions in cash and restructuring its debt, with China willing to say, we will bankroll you, our friend Cuba, as long as we get what we want. And this is the same playbook the king of the East is using as it is marching over land and sailing over sea, pushing toward the West as prophesied. And the king over them, Xi Jinping, has already said that they see war to be inevitable. And one report now says that the plans for the Chinese military base on Cuba's northern coast are at an advanced stage, raising the prospects of Chinese military troops, Navy ships, and weapons on America's doorstep. 
as now the Chinese are crossing the threshold with the U.S., clearly showing they have chosen to cross that threshold at a time when tensions are increasing between China and the U.S. over Taiwan and other issues. And this indicates a new willingness by China to take risks as they are not as worried anymore as they used to be about provoking the United States as they view the U.S. in turmoil and too disengaged and distracted like when the Chinese military was recently sitting in Cuba now watching the White House partying with party drugs found in the West Wing and party goers taking off their clothes on the White House lawn and to where there also seems to be little appetite in the White House to stand up to the Chinese as the U.S. did to the Russians in the Cuba Missile Crisis. Are the prophecies coming to pass for the United States like it did for Nineveh? Has America become a modern-day Nineveh where its days are numbered and its modern Christianity is like a Jonah that is a no-show? because it will not embrace and obey the actual commandments of the Lord, even though a miracle like Nineveh is going down the highway to hell. The only hope for a miracle and its failing Christianity is repentance like that of Jonah, where the Lord helped him to get the courage to finally embrace and speak all the truth of the Lord's message. If America and its Christianity, unfaithful to the actual preaching of Jesus Christ and his apostles in their scriptures, do not have their Jonah moment and the resulting deep repentance, then the prophet Nahum provides the prophetic destiny of America, which will be like those before her as Nineveh and Rome. For the prophet Nahum shows in chapter 3 that because of their immoral practices, while those who were to lead and protect the land were superficial and pretentious, that the land became naked with shame. And Nahum 3 and 13 says that the gates of our land are wide open for our enemies, who fear us no more, and fire shall devour our gates. Could this be why America is not called out in end time prophecy since it is not able to answer the call of God in the end time? These events and conditions happening now in the world that we have described, they're connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 3, verse 3 and verse 5, where Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, and that you must be born again of water and spirit. Our one cannot enter the kingdom of God. And this is part of the actual scriptures of the Lord Jesus that modern Christianity is no longer embracing and teaching of what Jesus Christ said was an essential necessity. And Lord Jesus sanctioned only his chosen apostle to tell us how to be born again in Matthew chapter 16 and verses 18 through 19, where he gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven with Lord Jesus saying that what his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, are recorded in heaven, which is eternal for his church. And in the Acts of the Apostles' preaching, they told us how to be born again of water and spirit, as Lord Jesus commanded we must, where they preached to be baptized into Jesus Christ and be filled with his Holy Spirit. The apostles of Lord Jesus preached this message of the born-again gospel of Christ Jesus in Acts chapter 2, when Lord Jesus started his church in Jerusalem. And again in Acts chapter 10, when Lord Jesus started his church among the Gentiles. And finally in Acts chapter 19, as Lord Jesus spread his church among the Gentile nations. And we must prepare now 
for the appearance of Lord Jesus according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in their scriptures in the Holy Bible. And the apostles said in Galatians, the first chapter, verse 6 through 9, that what the apostles preached, that he would never change, that he would never be transitioned from. If you need help finding someone to baptize you and pray with you biblically where you are, according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last, Minute, Last Day's Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website, signsofthelastdays.org, where you will find our email address. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan to then share more signs of the last day's prophecies. And please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and that you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Such significant and amazing signs are happening now in world events. And for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, it's telling us, as Lord Jesus said, to keep looking up for the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Upon the stage.